I'm delighted now to be joined by uh, Nancy Reid. Nancy, welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you here talking to us this morning. Pleasure to be here. Now, you're a theoretical statistician, I believe. I am indeed, yes. So what is a theoretical statistician? Well, uh, someone who likes math um, and someone who likes statistics, I guess. And what I like to do is, is to abstract the kind of general ideas from a whole range of applications and see what the underlying principles are and whether you can use math, maths to help you perhaps suggest a method that might work better than the ones that have worked in the past. Um, of course, it can also be studied for its own sake uh, as a kind of intellectual endeavor, but it's m most fun when it relates right back to applications, I think. One of the things that everybody's talking about everywhere now is big data. Uh, and by the sounds of it, big data is about bigger and bigger and bigger computers amassing more and more and more and more data. But, but where does theoretical statistics come into all that? Oh, it's very important because there's, there's a lot of noise in that data and theoretical statistics helps you to find the signal. It, well, we're back to Nate Silver's book, The Signal and the Noise, but that's a very apt expression. If, if you take the data at face value, you could be led quite badly astray. And that's where models and inference and trying to understand the structure of things, it's, it's more important than ever, in my opinion. <laughs> well, one, of the, one of the issues that uh, all countries have, but particularly my country in the UK recently, is the validity of, a, of opinion polls. Uh, yes, all opinion yes. polls these days seem to be wrong. Yes. <laughs> How can that yes. be? Well, that's a good question. I don't think anyone really knows the answer. There's a lot of people working on polls. And it's a kind of new polling world. People are less certain about how they're going to vote and they're less accessible by conventional means and people are scrambling to overcome these problems, but I, I don't think the solution's been found yet, obviously. <laughs> the the uh, polls themselves should work, in theory. <laughs> well, finally, what are some of the other uh, problems, if you like, that uh, you're looking at trying to help solve? at the moment? Um, well, the, one of the really interesting problems is when you have these very complicated models, do you just decide to use their predictions at face value? So when you go on Amazon, they tell you what book you want to read next and that's, it, that works, that they're using statistics to do that, but they're not trying to figure out why you want to read that book next. Whereas if you work in something like climate, you want to know why things are happening when they're happening. And the inferential side of statistics, or the theoretical side, does provide a lot of structure for trying to find out what's really going on here. Uh, how can we simplify this and get a good handle on what the important parameters are and so on. And I think for that reason, it's, it's essential for today's world. Well, thank you ever so much indeed for joining us. Really fascinating. Thank, thank you very you. much.